Most of the duties Pennsylvania's 20,000 National Guard soldiers perform are done out of sight of civilian eyes. But this week, those brave men and women's employers get a chance to see what life as a guardsman is really like. Our own Jim Murdoch spent the past two days at Fort Indian Town Gap and has more. Flying helicopters, shooting at the enemy, and prepping for a dangerous nighttime mission. No, these folks aren't playing World of Warcraft. They are taking part in an annual tradition at Fort Indian Town Gap known as Boss Lift. It may be fun, but this is exactly what some of their employees go through during intense training at the military base. They employ many soldiers and airmen, and they may hear what it's like, but to experience something is altogether different. And so we want to show them um, what their soldier and airman does and how well they do it. And we want to also thank the employer for what they do for us, because without them, we would not be a success. This is Melissa Brown's first time at Boss Lift. She runs a paper company in western Pennsylvania and is proud to have a soldier work for her. Well, I think it makes them see uh, just how important it is, how important it is to the United States, how important it is uh, to them and their families so that they understand, um, you know, what they're going through, uh, exactly what they do when they say, I need a weekend off or I need two weeks off in the summertime. One of the neat things about the Boss Lift program is they give you a real hands-on approach. For example, I'm flying a helicopter right now 3,000 feet above Blue Mountain. Of course, all from the safety of a simulator. The Boss Lift program started five years ago at Fort Indian Town and continues to be a big success. It's different to say I'm going to Fort Indian Town Gap for a weekend and then understanding what they do that entire weekend and that there really isn't any downtime. It is training, training, training. Right, you better pull back quick. <laughs> there you go. Oh! And as for me, I'll leave the flying to the brave men and women of Pennsylvania's National Guard. In Lebanon County, Jim Murdoch, TV 13 News.